I was 27 the year the Fedcom Civil War reached the boiling point. The media saw us as young gods, lords of war, striding the battlefield in our engines of destruction. The holovids captured our stories and spun them to the masses. For some, it was a time of terrible sacrifice and loss. For others, it was a time of great opportunity. Hi everybody, welcome to MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries. It's the final MechWarrior 4 game. Uh, it's said to be the best, uh, and it certainly was updated a lot, uh, but kind of abandoned where now. But still, it's a really nice game. I have never finished it, unfortunately, but I will definitely attempt to finish it for you during this run. I don't even know why I'm saying attempt, because I finished all the other Mech 4 games. It's the same deal as Black Knight. I'd never finished Black Knight, and then I finished it with uh, as an LP thing. So at some point it's gonna be we're gonna get into like blind LP territory, so it shouldn't be that bad. It should be pretty fun stuff. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So most of this game is uh, very open-ended. Uh, there's a couple paths that you can go down. I am not sure entirely what all the paths do. Um, I've looked up a lot of the differences between these. What are starting uh, sponsors? And so there's uh, wolf, wolf Dragoons first. There's a bit of lore at the bottom there. Uh, but the main difference with these guys is they start with clan mechs. And they can easily purchase more clan uh, technology. So the disadvantage... I was actually going to start with these guys. And then the disadvantage I can see is that clan tech is not always better. And you only have access to clan tech. Uh, which can be expensive and not better. Because the difference between ER uh, large lasers and just large lasers is that the ERs have more range, uh, but they generate way more heat. And so if you're not using that all from always from long range, the ER large lasers actually suck balls. Uh, so I decided not to start as Wolf Dragoons. Um, there's Northwind Highlanders, which they get about 20% more money for each contract that they do. So it's basically just more money. Uh, it's a solid choice. You can't go wrong. Uh, but I, I kind of want to do... Do some kind of mix up with it, you know, like some get some interesting weapons and maybe some chassis out of it. I would have definitely done the clan tech because I, uh, dude, I love the Pumba mech. Uh, that is like the most overpowered piece of shit in this game uh, or in any game. It's like it's a it's a really small uh, light mech with two ER PPCs and it's such bullshit. Uh, but I guess we're skipping out on it because I didn't actually go for it. Uh, and um, there's what I did here, which is Great Death Legion, and they start with Lost Tech weapons. Um, what those are is, for the most part, Expulse Lasers. Um, Lost Tech is referring to Lost Tech, which is apparently something in the lore before some Star League f was founded or something. Like, really old weapons that were made into... like uh, This is as far as the, old, the lore goes. Something about how they were really old weapons that were essentially rediscovered and repurposed or something, uh, so that's what that is. And as I said, it's mostly X pulse lasers, um, so they're kind of nice. Gives you a, an early advantage, but you don't get client tech until very late in the game, which is unfortunate, but then again, we don't need it. We can do without it, it's fine. And then there's the uh, Nell Hounds, or, which are basically, they get better a better start, and then uh, client tech earlier than everyone else, but not earlier than the Wolf Dragoons. Uh, generally speaking, this start is a, varies a little bit for each one. Uh, Wolf Dragoons, I, I would say, is kind of like a, a, the hard carry. Essentially, they're weak early on, uh, but they can get really strong later. Uh, Nellhounds are essentially just overall pretty decent, because you don't have to deal with the disadvantages of such early clan tech. Because, uh, like, clan tech isn't necessarily better overall. It's just expensive and stuff like that, so, you know... So Nalhans is also a good one. Like, they're all really solid, but I, I figured I'd do Great Death Legion just because it was different, you know? So, uh, here we are. We're playing with uh, uh, Mech Pack 3. So apparently we're going to get some more mechs and weapons that would not have normally be, been found in the default game. 
I think I've modded it slightly, but I don't know, because I actually have a lot of trouble running this game. Uh, it's one of those games where I don't think it's going to work in a couple years, so, you know, YouTube may be the only way for anyone to know what this game was really like, so, anyways, let's, uh, let's get started with the campaign. Welcome to the command center, Commander. The first step in securing a contract is the star system overview. From there, you can view contracts available in each system. Once you travel to a star system, you can click on the orbital view button to see more details about the contracts available. The free market allows you to buy or sell mechs and armaments and hire new lance mates. The mech lab allows you to modify the loadouts of your mechs. All right, so I guess we'll get started. So there's um, nobility, infamy, Steiner, and Davian. Uh, I am not entirely sure what this all means, but I think that the campaign at the end revolves around Steiner versus Davian. So it's whoever you want to kind of associate with. Uh, Steiner is essentially Space Germany, and Davian I think is like Space America or something like that. Uh, so, you know what, I'm gonna try and side with Space Germany, because why the hell not? It sounds pretty fun, and also, obviously, obviously, infamy, because I'm an asshole. Uh, but the thing is, you know, I got the star system map, so this is where you choose where to go, because there's a bunch of contracts in that area. Doesn't really explain to me what, who I'm working for, what I'm gonna get out of it. Uh, I mean, it kind of gives you a rough thing at the bottom, I guess, you can kind of figure it out. But right over here is Davian space. This is uh, Steiner space. So I, I'm I'm pretty sure if I'm at least early on, if I'm doing missions in uh, Davian space, it's probably because I'm working for Steiner. Uh, so we're gonna do that. Plus this has two missions, so we're gonna do it anyways. I'm telling you what I'm shooting for, but I, I actually don't really know what to do in this case because as I said, it doesn't really tell me. So we have to jump, and it's gonna cost us money. To, to get there and also it's gonna take a week to jump there which means we have to pay like people to maintain our, our stuff so it's like a interesting kind of uh, uh, ec economic it has an e eco uh, bleh, economy portion to this game so you gotta kind of be careful about that and here we go so we have our uh, two missions to do here uh, and so heat efficiency is really nice which is really good in these places but first let's uh, actually go Straight back to the mech lab. Uh, the interesting part about this spinning mech thing is that it's actually tied to... Uh, it's tied to your, your fucking frame rate, so... When I was recording this the first time, I, I did like a test. It was spinning like super fast. And it was hilarious. And then it actually fucks up jump jets and stuff, I realized, so... Uh, I had to fix that. This game has a lot of issues going for it. As we start with like fleas and a hell spawn and actually just one flea. It is another there's another one. I think it was the hellhound, the certain hellhounds or something that started with the fucking like like four fleas and I'm like screw that shit. I'm not doing that. So, uh, we could, we're going to sell this flea right away. And I think we're going to go get a chimera. A chimera sounds pretty good. So we're going to get that guy. As for uh, so this is like I'm by the way, I'm not going to show you every time. If you've watched any of my other MechWarrior 4 LPs, I never show really much of the mech, mech lab stuff. I just show you what I've done. But I always show to start with how it works. So you get a good idea of what I'm doing when I'm cutting it out. And then I just kind of show you the result. Uh, so we're definitely selling these machine gun arrays. Because uh, screw that shit. This is C CSMRM20. Yeah, I I don't know what this is. This is um, see, there's MRMs which are medium range missiles. These apparently are medium range missiles that lock on. Actually, did I say MRM? It's CS MRM. So clan is this clan? I guess it is because it has the little C icon there. It must be clan. All right, so let's sell these guys. I I, I don't know what to expect as uh, the with the last tech weapons, but let's let's have a look at what we got here. Uh, so we can buy more X-Pulse lasers, so we already have access to some of that. We got some regular PPCs here. Uh, absolutely n almost no client technology whatsoever. Uh, we got overhead flare in case you want that. You can do night ops in this game, by the way. Um, don't know why you would, but you, you can. Uh, we got some Gauss rifles too. 
Uh, this is all, all of this is inner sphere tech, uh, every single one of this, so. Uh, you kind of just have to deal with uh, the slightly higher weight that is required for some of this. Uh, but, you know, I think it's interesting. I'm pretty sure, I think CSR MRM is a lost tech weapon. I'm not, I don't really know. Uh, I, I know it says clan, but I think maybe it was like repurposed, who knows. I think I might get like a heavy goss or something later that's re uh, related to that, but yeah. Uh, so let's, for the time being, I think I kind of want... I think I want the, at least the LB, uh, uh, LBX uh, AC-10. I'll take like one or two of those. Ultra ACs are actually pretty good too, so we'll take one of those too. We can buy this at any point, by the way. There's nothing stopping us right now from doing any of that. So we can go close. Uh, so let's go modify one of our mechs. We're going to start with the Chimera. I never really got a lot of jump jet action in any of my uh, LPs of this game, and I'm really sad about that. And so, um, as my apology, we're basically going to start out with... I'm going to try and lean towards on the jump jet uh, max, just because that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, we could do large x laser. I think this is an Omni slot, and yes, I would be correct on that. I cannot fucking see for the life of me this, this texture. I mean, you probably can because you're blowing it up, but I'm playing in, like, window mode and 1080. By the way, if you're wondering why this this video is, uh, 1980 by, like, whatever, like, 1080p. The actual game is 1080p, but the menus are not. And the HUD is not either, uh, so that's also kind of fun. Oh, wow, my heat efficiency is shit now. Okay, you know what? Maybe not do the, the uh, large x lasers. Maybe we should do mediums. Because if you look at this, like, two of these equals to one. Except it's basically like the same thing when you look at this, but generates, I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's go with this then. Apparently if I double click it doesn't quite do anything. Is the small, the small laser worth anything? Not really. Alright, yeah sure, I'll save my changes here. I'm gonna go get some more of these uh, nice X-Pulse lasers, at least the mediums. Wow, these are fucking expensive. Okay, let's just do that. Like we, we also have like a money limited money amount, so we don't actually want to like go crazy with this. Uh, do we want an LB10X? No, we don't, because we can't fucking afford it. I got an Ultra AC10. That's the same deal, though. I, I think we're gonna leave that that slot open because I don't think I have enough to do anything with that. Because it's either get machine gun. You 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 guys want to do machine gun upgrades? Because they're terrible. And, and that it's gonna be hilarious. We have a tonnage problem now. Um, so let's have a look here. So we have jump jets. Oh, I should also mention some of this stuff. We got enhanced optics, which is like uh, more zoom. IFF jammer, which is uh, like this is uh, ECM and BAP is pretty standard. BAP is more sensor range, ECM is inhibiting sensor range, jump jets is flying, uh, well, small boost and flying. There's no regular AMS, uh, this is the anti-missile system, there's only the laser one, which is unlimited ammo, which is fine, uh, you're not restricted in any way. Apparently knocking down is a real big thing in this, in Mercs, so, uh, they have this, uh, which is, uh, prevents you from getting knocked down as much. You got your top speed and your amount of heat sinks in your mech. Uh, the other thing you got here is, uh, furrow fur burst, reflective or reactive armor. Um, unless I say otherwise, you should just assume I'm going to be using uh, Furrow Furburus. And the reason for that being is, um, I'll tell you the difference between them. Furrow Furburus is essentially just kind of good all around. Uh, it weighs, doesn't weigh a whole lot. Uh, and so, well, I think it's like 20 armor points per, or 30 armor points per ton, I think it is. And these are 20 armor points per ton. But the difference is that... Reactive is better against ammunition weapons, so that would be missiles and uh, and ballistics. And the reflective is good against lasers, but like it's just mediocre at the other thing that it's not good at. It's not like a weakness. It's just it's just better at one thing. The reason you would do this is because imagine you're going to a cold planet, right? And so people are you, you can assume that people are going to equip or be firing a lot more laser weapons because the heat efficiency is much better for the laser weapons. So that's why you, let's say, equip reflective armor. Um, to be honest, for me personally, I can't be fucked to deal with any of that. I just don't care, so I will not deal with it. And I'm going to try and uh, bring myself back to 29 tons. And you know what? Let's go to free market. 
and equip a bunch of machine gun arrays because that sounds that sounds incredibly bad. I know I sold it before, but you know maybe we just need to see how bad it is so we can never use it again. I mean, when, am I, when else am I going to use this stuff? Never. All right, so let's see. Do, can we? Whoops! No, no, no. We want we want three machine gun arrays. Come on. And then so we have a. Uh, some medium range missiles, and I think, how much time do I have left? It's really difficult for me to see. It's like eight. But I think I could put this on. Yeah. But that will be literally it. It's either this one or... Oops. I don't know how I dragged over this thing again. I seem to do that a lot. It's either, it's either, you know, this is like double the, double the salvo. And double the damage for... You know, not that much more, so... Fine, we'll put that guy on. And then... My heat efficiency is fine. There's also relative heat efficiency, which is related to... I just... I guess the overall... Apparently, it's overall efficiency. I think it's related to how much heat your mech can handle. So if I put, like, one more on... I, I don't know what the numbers mean. I really don't. You know, if I decrease my speed slightly, I can have another ton here. And that means I can put another... Medium pulse on, except I can't. So, this is essentially what the result of this is. Okay, let's put another... Okay, this is going to be the... Wow, look at my heat efficiency. This is going to be the best mech I've ever made. Alright, so... Uh, all the all the fucking x pulses are on one slot. Machine gun right there, and then the missile slot right there. So, this one's going to be terrible, and I'm going to drive it. <laughs> so that's mine. Uh, for the rest of them, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to mess around with them all that much. I mean, we got a, we got a hell spawn here. So that's some medium lasers. I mean, I probably should change it a little bit. I think I will, though. So I gave myself six pounds there. I mean, that tell spawn is kind of boring, so... I don't want that shit. I mean, they, we have to make sure they have Furl Furberus. Um, we are going to take the jump jets off, because I'm pretty sure the AI never flies. The AI just simply doesn't do it. Oh, wait. Apparently... What the hell? Okay, so you see that like border around the text? Apparently it goes away when I go here. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, it's a really terrible interface actually. It just hasn't aged very well. I mean, you'd normally have this in full screen, but I don't because it crashes too much in full screen, so I, I don't really deal with that. I'm going to keep the SRMs on this guy. Uh, he can have an ECM as well. Yeah, I'm going to give him an L and AMS as well. And we're gonna do the rest in. Just give him some more shit here. And there you go, he's done. Uh, and he doesn't need all these slots for the stuff. What the hell? He's got a medium pulse laser still. I don't know when he had that. It would be because I actually gave it to him. Okay, there we go. Because my my autism was essentially flaring up there, and I, I couldn't deal with that. Alright, so he's going to shoot down some missiles and stuff like that. So we got Osiris here. Uh, by the way, pink is obviously the manliest of colors, so we're going to keep that on. Uh, I mean, I, I don't really see the point in changing most of these guys. The AI is shit anyway, so... I mean, as long as they don't kill the mechs, I'm fine with it. Uh, here's an Owens we got. We got an IFF jammer. I mean, I, you know, I think, that, I think the only important thing is we take off uh, the jump jets on these guys. Great. So this guy has like a free gun rack right here, and I don't know what to put on him. Actually, you know what? He doesn't really need anything, does he? Let's put the machine gun array back on. I'm just giving him more heat sinks. Even though he, he's fine for heat sinks. Maybe actually I should give him a L LIMS instead. Apparently advanced gyro only costs 50. Awesome. So he's not going to have any problems there. Uh, Owens has two medium lasers and some LRMs, so this guy's gonna be like a, I guess an LRM support mech, which is kinda cool for light. I actually really like this one. Uh, but he's got no jump jets on him, so fuck that, I'm not, I'm not gonna drive him around. And we also got a Raven here. I mean, it's just kinda interesting to see what the, what the default mechs are. Okay, we're gonna take off the Narc here. I don't even think we're gonna drive this in our first mission here, to be honest, but, uh, we're gonna... Regardless, I'm gonna fuck around with some of these. I wanna, you know, I really need to get rid of these other lasers. I don't know how I'm equipping the wrong thing, though. Alright. 
And then he's got three tonnage left. Apparently when I scroll it, like, just like jitters a little bit. As I said, the game is kind of off. It hasn't exactly aged entirely well. I think I've said that several times now. Uh, do I have any more? Okay, I'm, I'm running out of uh, X-Pulse lasers, so... Let's go get some more, because I don't want him to have a narc. The narc is absolutely useless, I think, on the AI. I think it's useless in this game in general. Or maybe it's really good. I know the flamer is useless in every single game, so that, that is not even in question. Let's just remove these small lasers. I think these... You know, we have we have X-Pulse lasers. We don't need these. Because we're just going to buy more of the X-Pulse lasers. Alright, I think I'm happy with that. Even though we're going to have no money after this. And I think we're going to go and put on a uh, medium pulse laser. And he's got... So this is essentially the, the result of this. Yeah, let's give him the, the rest of these guys. Okay, I, I, I really want to double click things and it just doesn't work. I already got 50 tons left. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know what to give him now. He's got like a ton of this this stuff. You know, let's go give him the LMS instead. Alright, so he's got one LRM-15 and a bunch of small pulse lasers, so he should be good. Alright, that's the extent of that. Let's go back to the free market for a sec. And the last thing we're going to have here is we have a bunch of people uh, with salaries and different... Uh, basically, you can hire someone different. So there's like... Bulldog, Mags, Angel, and I think there's a bit of, uh, I mean, there's a bit of variation with, like, how good they are with their mechs. I'm not sure how much it makes a difference. Uh, apparently Mustang is really expensive. Well, not actually overly expensive. Um, so there's, like, a couple people here that we can decide. Goddamn Goblin. Holy shit. He looks like, uh... Looks like he wants to kill some fucker. All right, and there's Blaze. All right, let's put, let's take Angel. Well, how, how's Angel compared to Rufus? Angel is worse than Rufus. I, I, I hate Rufus's name, so I kind of want to get rid of him. And the people with the yellow uh, backgrounds can basically be Lance Commanders. Uh, so there's a lot to that. I don't know who to who do get rid of though. I I, I kind of don't want. Yeah, let's take Mags and get rid of Rufus. Fuck Rufus. All right, all right. Let's go choose a mission. We're finally done with this. I know this took a while, but what can you do? So let's tr start off with uh, offshore. Our main opposition in this engagement will come from Halloran 5 Militia Naval Units. A large task force of naval vessels lies several miles off the coastline, consisting of two destroyer groups and the aerospace carrier Indignation. The Navy is not expecting any resistance, so a good bloody nose should send them packing. That should be pretty good. Actually, let's give this guy the Raven. So there we go. So um, the other thing we have to take into account is that uh, mechs get damaged. Uh, so after this mission, we may have to buy some another mech or two, or else we're bringing damaged mechs into there. We also could do day or night op, uh, but we're going to do day just because I know night is probably going to be horrible to record for YouTube. But we got a couple of sea bills from this, and uh, it's also a drop weight limit. We have we're within that we're well within the tonnage I think because we all all we have is light mechs. So uh, I guess let's get started. Transax coastal facilities are straight ahead to the south. A total of four large offshore platforms are its nav points Alpha and Beta. The residential and depot buildings are centered around nav points Gamma and Delta. Spectre 1, this is Deneb Control. Looks like you got here just in time. We show multiple inbound vectors in the water running coded signals on the military band. Over. Roger, Deneb. Heading to Alpha for visual confirmation. Alpha Dock confirms militia watercraft escorting barge. Looks like they came to do a little shopping. I'm sure they won't mind if we check their credentials. Moving to engage. Line them up, and I'll knock them down. One second. I, unfortunately, this mouse is off. Yes, okay. Um, I did not actually have this set up properly. Oh, you know, there's also an interesting thing about the controls that I actually want to show you. So this is like, obviously there's more controls than a spaceship and you have to change the shit out of them uh, to start, but my uh, USB, this this USB device here is actually my uh, device that does my sound and audio, and apparently that counts as a joystick in this game. So I actually plugged in a controller 
just so that wouldn't be on because uh, I don't know what the hell that would do. So <laughs> I was got a little bit worried that my sound device was detected as a joystick. Can it. Take these guys out and minimize damage to the docks. Roger. This is the net control. Militia units have opened fire on the platforms. Take them out quick. Roger. We're on it. Spectre out. Take out the designated target. Copy. 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 Target's destroyed. Another one. Bite the dust. Target destroyed. Roger that. Roger that. Roger six. Nav point alpha reached. Target destroyed. Xbox says make things really easy, actually. This one volley kills everything here. Target destroyed. Now, um, the Target UI does destroyed. not scale very well in widescreen. Alpha looks destroyed. clear of hostiles. Status report. A second set of signals coming in from the east. Wait one. Data confirms another barge and some hovercraft. Barge is withdrawing. Condors and harasses are coming in fast and hard. Making best speed to beta. Close up and form on me. Roger lead. Roger, Spectre. Copy. There we go. We oh holy shit! What the fuck, dude? I'm this this mech must be like a feather. Holy crap, dude! I've never used any any of this shit at all. all right, what are my objectives? Defend. Enemy detected. Uh, destroy fuel industry buildings. Oh, I have to defend fuel industry Enemy buildings. Detected. Hovercraft, Enemy they're coming in fast. Engaging hovercraft, they're moving on to the base. Roger, Spectre. Roger, Roger, Spectre. Nav point beta reached. I'm not close enough for that. I want to just, I want to defend the fucking buildings. I don't know what these other guys are doing. This this game feels pretty smooth, but I was gonna say that the UI is scaled for some kind of garbage. Oh my god, what is the range on these things? I'm trying to get this guy. I think the SRM would, would kill him. Destroyed. But yeah. Spectre 1, be advised. SATCOM shows the destroyer Reynolds moving in from the task force. The carrier is launching nightshades in support. ETA, one minute to your location. Target destroyed. Hovercraft destroyed. neutralized. This is the net control. Turret grid is at 80% efficiency. We can't handle the destroyer unsupported. Move your lands to intercept, Commander. Okay, Spectre Lance. Now we earn that check. I'll give it my own, sir. Close up and form on me. Roger that. Roger that. Roger, Spectre. Enemy aircraft heading our way. Enemy detected. Target destroyed. You guys are easy. It's so nice, though, that I'm able to kind of record this at 60 FPS. I don't think anybody has done that. With the uh, Mercs, Target at least. destroyed. 1080p. All that kind of shit. I mean, the game, as I said, I think I am using a uh, uh, graphics HD mod, but I can't be sure. I just don't know what's been changed. So, and I had so much difficulty getting this all right. Get in close to the destroyer, and their turrets will have a hard time tracking us. Roger, lead. Copy. Roger, lead. I told them all to attack my target. I didn't really use these machine guns at all, did I? The glorious pink lands. Heat exceeding recommended level. Yeah, it's a nice destroy here. It's kind of neat when we can go like that destroy ships like this. Great work, Spectre One. Looks like you were worth the money. Don't you forget it. Excellent work, Commander. I'll upload our mission report to Merknet and have new contract offers ready by the time you're out of refit. Affirmative control. Spectre One out. Target destroyed. Target eliminated. Transpax has verified mission success and released our payment from escrow. It is unlikely the naval militia will give up with just a bloody nose. Though nothing is on Merknet right now, I wouldn't be surprised to see us on defensive duty with them again. Awesome. So, uh, we got some stuff. So our mechs are all fine. No one got damaged. Uh, Steiner likes us a bit more, so we're in the good graces of Space Germany. And there's some expensives, uh, our new balance, uh, crap like that, uh, which is really nice. We hit continue. And essentially we can go back to orbital view and just continue on onwards. Um, but... Yeah, I, I don't think I feel the need to change anything right now, but uh, that's all the time we got for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.